Hello students, welcome to Grade 10 Science Lessons. And I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Suryano. In part 1 of our video lesson on processes that occur along plate boundaries, we discuss about the different types of convergent plate boundary. In convergent plate boundary, the lithospheric plates are moving towards each other where one leading edge of a plate will be subducted and turned into magma. Just like in the convergence of oceanic to continental crustal plates that gives rise to the formation of trenches, volcanic arc, and earthquakes. In convergence of oceanic to oceanic crustal plates, it leads to the formation of trenches, volcanic island arcs, and strong earthquakes that can generate tsunamis like what happened in Japan in 2011. In the last type of convergent plate boundary, where two continental crustal plates collide, there is no subduction zone. Therefore, no volcanoes, but rather a collision zone happens that create mountain ranges and shallow earthquakes. Let's continue our video lesson on the processes that occur along plate boundaries, part 2. Divergent plate boundary Divergent plate boundary is when the lithospheric plates are moving apart from each other. If the divergent movement is happening in the oceanic plates, it can lead to the formation of the oceanic ridge and reef valley. What are oceanic ridge and reef valley? How are they formed? Oceanic Ridge is an underwater mountain range formed by plate tectonics. The oceanic ridge occurs when convection currents rise in the mantle beneath the oceanic crust and create magma where two tectonic plates meet at a divergent boundary. As plates continue to move apart, an uplifted ocean floor will develop in both sides of the plates which is called oceanic ridge. Since oceanic crust is thinner than the continental crust, the creation of a linear-shaped lowland between oceanic ridges will develop called Reef Valley. Did you know? The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a mid-ocean ridge located along the floor of the Atlantic Ocean and part of the longest mountain range in the world. Did you know also? Rocks near the oceanic ridge are younger than those far from it. This map tells the ages of the Earth's oceanic crust in million years. Red means youngest oceanic rocks and blue means the oldest. Clearly, rocks near the oceanic ridges are younger than far from it. That's why divergent plate boundary is also known as constructive plate margins because it's where new materials are being formed. Divergent plate movement can also occur in continental plates. As continental plates starts to move apart, the crust will start thinning and develops a continental reef valley. The continental reef valley will develop into a narrow sea and then into a widened ocean. Iceland is a country located above the Eurasian plate and North American plate that are diverging from one another. The Thingvatlair National Park is one of the most frequently visited attractions in Iceland. Transform Fault Plate Boundary Let's examine the simulation above. If the blocks represent the lithospheric plates, you will notice that there were two sets of divergent plate boundaries between blocks 1 and 2 and blocks 3 and 4. But since the plates were adjacent to each other, a new type of boundary is manifested and that is the transform fault boundary between blocks 2 and 3. The presence of an oceanic ridge is an indication of diverging plates. And as the plates diverge between the two segments of the mid-ocean ridge, the adjacent slabs of crust are grinding past each other forming transform fault. Transform boundaries and the resulting faults produce many earthquakes because edges of tectonic plates are jagged rather than smooth. As the plates grind past each other, the jagged edges strike each other, catch, and stick, locking the plates in place for a time. Because the plates are locked together without moving, 
A lot of stress builds up at the fault line. This stress is released in quick bursts when the plates suddenly slip into new positions. The sudden movement is what we feel as the shaking and trembling of an earthquake. Most unstrong faults are located within the ocean basins. There are few that cut through the continental crust like the San Andreas Fault. Let's summarize what you have learned. Divergent plate boundary is when plates move apart from each other, forming mid-oceanic ridges, reef valleys, and shallow earthquakes. Transform fault plate boundary is a fault along a plate boundary where the motion is predominantly horizontal. No leading edge of plate is being destroyed. This means that no volcanoes, no mountains are formed, but rather earthquakes. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from our lesson. This is Mom Marian Soriano. See you in our next lesson.